What's up guys, this is C Blonde Boy. Uh we're in Snapshot 13W36A, the latest or the first, I guess, 1.7 uh pre release. And today we're gonna be looking at uh, a pretty cool feature and something that you can do with that feature. Uh this has to do with uh spawning structures. You may have seen Seth Bling's spawner structure and uh structures spawner. Yeah, that okay. Anyway, uh, it's basically the same thing as that, except with command blocks. So, yeah, let's get to it. Um, they added a new command in the 1.7 pre-release that's called uh, slash summon. So if you do slash summon, it'll give us these parameters. Uh, so entity name, x, y, and z coordinates, and data tags. So if we do slash summon chicken, and then let's do right in front of us, so... Right there, it'll summon a chicken right there. Normal chicken. So, yeah, that's that's the basics of the command. Uh, now, uh, if if you've heard of uh, Seth Br Seth Bling's wow, I can't talk today. Seth Bling's structure spawner. Uh, basically, what it does is it uses falling sand entities to uh, well spawn structures and uh, delete them. And it's all redstone activated, but uh, his uses spawners. Uh, so what this does, what we can do with the new command is do it with command blocks. So if we look right here, uh, this is going to summon a falling sand entity right in front of us, right up here. So if I press this button, there you go, you see it for a split second. There's that falling sand entity right in front of us. Uh, now what you can do with the data tags is you can change what block that falling sand entity is. So there, right there, it's wood, and I did that by just adding this parameter at the end, uh, which is tile ID uh, five. And uh, basically, the reason that it's flashing in mi in midair is that uh, there are a bunch of variables that the game checks for. Uh, whenever there is a uh, falling sand entity and one of those variables is time and uh... you can watch uh... traslander's video he he does a really good job explaining this and i don't know if i'll be able to do as well so if you're still a little bit confused on the topic i will link that video in the description I, he's the one that started all the structure uh... spawning and block swapping and all the crazy falling sand entity stuff anyway uh, so if time equals zero, or er, okay, the times that matter when time equals one, the game checks to see if the falling sand entity is inside of a block that is the same ID as it. So whenever sand, if we were to spawn this entity right there, if there were a sand block there, it would spawn in the sand block and it would continue falling instead of just being deleted. If it's not in the block, then it immediately gets deleted. Uh, so we can, well, we can't really demonstrate it because if we were able to get the sand block up there, then it would fall on its own. Um, but we can do this to other blocks if we change the tile ID, which we did right here. So if we do it on this example, same command, just moved over the coordinate, and this time there's a wood block right there. So if we press this button, it's going to spawn it, and the wood block falls. So uh, there's also some other stuff that you can do with the uh, the whole uh, falling sand block, falling sand entities. Um, one of these is a uh, block swapper. So this is something Traslander figured out. Um, and basically, if you spawn a falling sand entity of this grass block inside of it and at the same time spawn in one of these or spawn in a falling sand entity of a different uh, different ID then you can effectively switch the blocks so if we press this button that's gonna change to wood so let me just go into the command blocks and show how some of that works uh, so this first command block, it uh, just does the same thing as this one. It spawns in uh, Falling Sanity with ID2, which is the one of grass, so it's basically the same as this. The second block, which is uh, fired off at the same time, 
it spawns uh, a falling sand entity of wood, 0.1 higher than the other one, uh, and that's the tile ID, it's wood, and this time the time is set to 2. So what that means is, because the game only checks at 1 if it's inside the block uh, to delete it, and then later on it checks for other things, but at time equals 2, the block won't get deleted. So let me just demonstrate that really quickly over here. So if we go over here and change the time variable to 2, and we press this button, it spawns in the wooden block and it falls itself. Um, so this one spawns in a wooden block just like that one, except it spawns it right inside of this block except 0.1 y coordinates higher. And while this one is still in its uh, entity form, it tries to land where this one is, but it can't because this block is in its way and it effectively gets deleted. So you press that, it switches over to wood, and this block is dropped. Um, now you can do uh, some cool things with the uh, time equals two. Uh, you can stack blocks. Here, I'll, I'll show you right now. The I figured out that the max limit that you can stack blocks at without changing the y from just one, uh, from multiples of one, is three block size. So this will power this block, this block, and this block, and those all, uh, those will spawn in glass blocks simultaneously. Um, however, if we add a redstone, oh, let's get rid of that. If we add a redstone here, so now all of them are getting powered. Just get rid of this really fast. Then uh, it, it kind of glitches out, doesn't really work that well. But three is the max. Four also does the same thing as that. Um, but so that's kind of cool uh, because that means that you can spawn multiple blocks on top of each other, well, well three at least, uh, at the same time, all simultaneously, no tick differences or anything. Um, now this is the part where it, turns into something more like Seth Bling's uh, or Traslander's uh, structure spawners where it, it actually spawns yeah spawns in a block um, and it I mean this is spawning in a block but the thing that this one does is it spawns in a block in midair and then it's able to leave that block there so if I press this button it's gonna spawn in that now a lot happened right there uh, so I'll, I'll go back and go through all of it. So to start out, it uh, has this block spawn in a falling sand entity of two or of twenty, which is glass, um, and time equals two, so it's gonna fall. And there are three of these in a row, so it does the same thing as this one, just stacks those three, or it stacks those two, and then this last one is wood. It's of five, so that's three blocks up, stacks that wood, and there are two glass underneath when it happens. Uh, there's a two tick delay, then uh, spawns in a falling sanity of two inside of this block right underneath this one. So right here. And once that is spawned in, or at the same time that that one is spawned in, it spawns in a half slab in the same place using the plus point one thing, time equals two. So a half slab appears right under here and then what this does it makes the wooden block uh, makes the wooden block fall and the glass no my bad it makes the glass blocks fall okay so both of these are the same as this one over here that just made this wooden block fall does that to the glass uh, that's no that one's without time equals two right here this, these are the ones we're looking at and then this last one right here uh, gets rid of the half slab. Um, there's something weird with half slabs. You, you, the way you have to do it is move the half slab up 0.9. I just figured out that that number works. Uh, I'm sure a couple others do also. But 11 didn't work. Uh, and this one you can just make 11 instead of 11.01. .01. Don't ask me why it works. I'm not really sure. Probably because of the size of the half slab. But... Yeah, so this works, uh, and this is a time equals two grass falling sand entity. So that does all of that. Um, I'm going to 
do it one more time, step by step now. So let's just get a repeater and let's break this one. So this first one right here spawns in those three blocks. There's a two tick delay. This next one gets this grass block beneath it changed to a half slab. Pretty sure that was a one tick delay. I'll, I'll figure it out if it's not, don't worry. Um, this next one gets rid of the glass. Those fall. I forgot to take that away, but those change the uh, sand or change the half slab back to grass. Uh, here's the deleter. It's a couple blocks shorter. Basically, what this one's doing is spawning in the half slab, dropping that block, and uh, spawning in the grass. So if we press that, that'll happen. And yeah, so. That's that's pretty cool. Even though this is really small scale, it's only one block. If uh, if you had the time and patience, you could do a whole house or some other kind of structure. And not only could it be a whole house, but you can make it so that the house uh, has doorways and is hollow inside. Well, I guess if you made a house, you'd be in it for that anyway. But uh. Yeah, so that's what this, this spawner does. It creates the blocks that are able to be in midair and then are able to be deleted from being in midair. Um, so I, I think this is really cool. definitely has a lot of uses. I know that uh, Seth Bling's structure spawner had some issues on multiplayer um, just because of some of the NBT editing of the spawners and all the uh, different minecart spawners that were spawning in and stuff. I don't think this one will have issues on multiplayer because it's all vanilla. Um, also, it it may cause a good amount of lag, but that's not saying that Seth Blings didn't cause a lot of lag also because that did ca cause a good amount of lag. Um, what would be awesome is if a filter could be made for this because right now this is kind of a tedious thing to do. I'm not really... A programmer or anything. So a filter could really make this be used to the fullness of its abilities and yeah I just think it's a really cool concept. I'm really glad that they added that command because a lot can be done with it even other than just with falling sand entities. Uh, so yeah, um, tell me if you have any issues, uh, if you need any help with anything on making this or uh, if you make anything cool using this. And yeah, thanks for watching.